Welcome to my video on the Mini 4 Pro and 360 degree tracking. Let's go out in the field now and see the 360 degree tracking in action. The first one we'll look at is Auto, which is my least favourite because it's unpredictable. The first piece of advice is keep your finger over the pause button when you're flying in 360 tracking, but especially in the Auto mode. First go into Control and scroll down through Control and select Subject Scanning when you're using any 360 tracking because it puts the crosses, you can see the crosses on me, you can see the crosses on the car and that's what it does, it puts the act targets us. Right, let's go into Auto first, press Go, which I'm going to do now. And then the first mode comes up is hold, and that's staying in the same profile, following me at the same angle, and as I walk along. And then unpredictably, it'll change, and it's changed to helix now, so it's going to go around me in a, like a rising circle, and then it's back to hold. This is the unpredictability of the auto mode. It'll also throw in the odd circle as well as you walk along. As I move along now, there's the helix come in. I'm not a fan of auto mode because it puts these different flight patterns in at its own request. I'm not controlling this at all. It's on hold at the moment, but if I stand here for a while, you'll see circle now kicks in. I didn't select circle, and that's what the unpredictability of this mode is. Let's now move on to my favorite mode, which is spotlight. You'll see I'm targeted with subject scanning. I'm now going to draw a box around me, so I'm actually now the center of spotlight. I'm going to hit spotlight, and away we go. Now, as I walk around, spotlight is like having a tripod in the sky. The drone stays still, and I walk around and I move. The drone moves with me, and the camera tracks me. Now I've pushed the left stick up, so the drone has gone up. The drone has moved, the tripod has got higher, but it's still tracking me with the camera. I'm now pulling the right stick down and the drone is going backwards and also going upwards. I push the drone up. I can move the drone round as much as I want using the sticks in spotlight mode. That's why I like it. I've got full control of this drone. You see, I'm pushing it away. And as I walk towards it now, it'll move and it's still tracking me. Let's come out of that. Let's move into another one now. And I'm now walking away. The camera is staying still. The tripod's staying still. And it's I'm now moving the drone with the sticks towards me. And it's still tracking me. I can move this drone anywhere in spotlight mode using the sticks. And as I move, it tracks me. It'll, it'll stay in one position unless I want it to move, which I use the sticks to move it as I am now. And that's the power of Spotlight. If you understand that it's a tripod in the sky and you can use the sticks to move it around, you have full control of the drone. Here is a live example of Spotlight I did very quickly through the trees as I spotted a buggy driving along. And you can see it's actively tracking him now. Uh, the next one we'll look at is point of interest, POI. See me uh, now I'm hitting point of interest. I've targeted myself. And let's watch the drone go round. I've set the pace that it's going to go round me at. And it's just going to circle me. And I'm the target. And gently around me at a fixed speed. And I'm the point of interest. And if I leave it now, I can use the sticks to push it up, which I've just done. Push the left stick up, and it's pushing it up a little bit. I've used the stick to push it a little bit further away from me. I'm now bringing the stick to pulling it down. So I can move this drone around and pushing it away a touch. It's still going around me, circling me as the point of interest. But I can change the height of the drone, I can change the distance away from me, and the pre-programmed mode still goes. Now I can move, and I'm still the centre of attention, the centre point of interest, and it's still going around me. You can be 
active and move around. It's exactly like Spotlight in that respect. You can move the diameter of the circle, you can use the, move the height of the circle, and it'll still keep going around me. And I can physically move around as well. That's point of interest. We'll now look at parallel. I'm selecting active shots. I'm going to go to the far end and select parallel. I've now clicked on parallel and it's going to track me on my right shoulder at 90 degrees and stay at 90 degrees. So as I walk forward, the drone is following at the same distance and it's tracking me. It continues to track me at 90 degrees as I walk forward. Now when I turn, it's now picking me up and going back the other way. I'm now going to use the sticks to move the drone upwards. I've just pushed the left stick up. I can use the sticks to bring it down. It's still staying same distance away, but now I'm using the right stick to push it further away from me. Like Spotlight and Circle, you can move the drone. And if you understand this, 360 Active Track is very, very powerful. We can move the drone around. I'm pushing it up there. It's still staying 90 degrees to me. I'm pushing it away from me now using the sticks. And I'm still walking along the path. And it's maintaining that pace and that same level. As I turn again, I'll now push the drone a touch further away. And I'm moving the drone upwards now and it's still tracking me at 90 degrees. I'll hit the pause button once and you'll see that subject scanning remains on both me and the car. Now let's look at manual mode. If we now select control and below subject scanning which is switched on you'll see smart shot, shot settings. And here we come to the smart shot settings and we've got an inner and outer circle, the radius of 5 meters for the inner and 10 meters for the outer. And you can set the inner and outer height as well. So I'll move the inner height to, let's say, uh, 2.5 meters and I'll leave the outer height at 5 meters. And the distances are 5 meters for the inner track and 10 meters for the outer radius. I'll now press the manual setting and press go. And you'll see that the circle, the inner circle and the outer circle comes up. And I've got it down. I'm going to fly down to the, on the outer circle now. And it's at five meters. As I walk forward, it's behind me. So the B is behind. I now press it to go to the, to my, forward right side at five meters and as I walk forward it's staying at five meters high ten meters distance and tracking me and I've now hit it down to 2.5 meters and the inner circle which is uh, five uh, th five meters away I've now hit the outer circle and now it's gone back to ten meters away I've now pulled it to the left hand side and it's coming around me I've now pressed the inner circle so it's coming down and closer towards me. You can vary the distances by using the inner and outer circle and as I move around it's actively tracking me all of the time. That folks is manual tracking so go away and have a play with it. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.